You might know Jim Darren from his assistant coaching jobs, either here with the Charlottesville Tom Sox or over at Monticello High School. But did you know that he's known head coach Corey Hunt since Corey Hunt was five years old? They have a relationship that spans back decades, and that's how long Jim Darren's been passionate about baseball. From coaching summer baseball camps in the Dominican Republic to coaching summer ball here in Charlottesville, he brings his passion and energy to every aspect of the game. What's more, Jim Darren has a day job at UVA Health Services, so he knows a lot about keeping players healthy so that they can return to their colleges to play ball in the spring. We talked with Coach Darren and a couple key Tom Sox players about his impact on the team and how his positive attitude brings energy to the Tom Sox every day. So I wanted to start out by talking a little bit about your own ball career. Did you start out by playing baseball yourself? When I was a kid, yes, I played Little League Baseball and then uh, as I got older I was actually pretty fast and did track. Um, but always had the love, for, you know, had a love for baseball. And then we had kids, and my actually my youngest son uh, played all the way through high school and college. He played for VMI, so I've always had an affinity for baseball. Okay, where did you first start coaching? I um, back this is back in Minnesota. So I, was, I, I coached uh, for a team in Minnesota uh, before our kids were actually born. Actually, uh, and then uh, then that's when I stopped. And then I started back coaching uh, in high school with Mon uh, first with Monticello High School okay. back in 1999, and I've been coaching ever since. And it was at Albemarle High School, and then eventually here at, at Monticello High School, and then now uh, with the college with the, the, the Tom Sox. What made you decide to stick here in Virginia to teach baseball? What brought me to Virginia, believe it or not, was not baseball. I, uh, I'm a therapist at UVA and actually am now the hospital administrator for therapy services, so I oversee all of the therapies at UVA. So uh, I've worked with lots of different teams besides um, besides baseball, but my, my focus is just, you know, because for these for these young players, it's their, they, their, their time and uh, their seasons are really short, and I want them healthy. And so I saw there was a real benefit to making sure that, that they do the right things to keep them healthy so they can stay playing. And that's, that, that's been my primary focus for the number of years. How did you meet Corey Hunt? How did you guys get into the coach assistant coach relationship that you have now? I've known Corey, so speaking of baseball, I've known Corey since he was five years old. His older brother and my youngest son were on the same baseball team. So we've we've known each other, again, uh, since he was a little boy. Watched him grow up, actually coached him at Monticello High School when he was a high school player, and then, and then he went off to college. So we've been good friends, and uh, I guess he saw something in me that he wanted, uh, and actually was coaching at Monticello before he came back, and then obviously he then became the head coach. So a really interesting scenario that you know, to, to see one of your young men that you coached grow up, go off to college, come back, and then he becomes the head coach. Yeah. Would you ever have been able to foresee that happening? No, not at all. <laughs> All right, so what was your process of getting hired for the team? What are your day-to-day -day responsibilities as an assistant bench coach? As a bench coach, my day-to-day -day opportunity is to warm the players up. So we, when we look at pregame, in the pregame, I'm basically doing all the warm-up drills with them, make sure that they got blood flowing through before they, they do any any type of other drills. And then uh, part of pregame is any pitcher who pitched the night before. As part of their recovery, I'm doing uh, stretching and deep tissue massage so that we can get them, you know, get all the, the, the lactic acid out. And, uh, and and get them to recovery so that they can pitch again shortly after. So this is generally a young team, college players. You've been described as a veteran presence for them. What do you see your role being for these college players? Well, you know, baseball is a lot like life. And so hopefully that you know the, the lessons that we learn in life that we can translate those into the baseball team so that you know what they learn about about uh, the game is that in, in baseball is a great great you know, teacher of life and that uh, life is going to have failure and you have to make the adjustments. So as a veteran, have, having lived you know you know life, uh, and I, I realize that every single day. And actually, I can take it into my own life, uh, uh, in my own work life, and this is what I'm hoping, we're trying to teach them. So not only just to teach them how to be good baseball players, but how to teach them to be good citizens and also be responsible and be successful in life. And when when life hands you a curveball, and it will, that you know how to make the adjustment that you need to be successful. He definitely does a lot for us. I mean, he stretches us before every game, um, gets us going to pep run top. poles and whatever, gives us a peck top before every game. And it may seem a little funny at times, but he actually gives some good speeches that yeah. kind of make you think a little bit sometimes. Uh, for the pitchers, he's like a really, like a key role for us, like getting loose before the game, uh, right before we go in, and then in our recovery phase of stuff, like making sure we're getting knots out and stuff like that. So it really helps us out a lot. 
Uh, the Tom Sox had a lot of returning members from 2017 roster to this roster. How do you think that reflects on the program and how has that affected the team this year? But what makes this team different, and I think it's true about this team as it was from last year, is that they pick each other up. Um, so when you're down, another baseball player is going to step in line and, and pick the team up, and, and that's how we're going to gain success. So we don't focus on the failure. I would say his biggest thing is his kind of positive attitude and every day and he comes and if you have a bad day he'll just pick you right back up and you know he has this thing about talking about his Fitbit on his wrist how it resets every day and it's kind of a good metaphor so that's what I've taken. Yeah. I know you have a lot of experience with some Dominican summer baseball camps. Could you talk a little bit about that and what sure. taught you for the Tom Sox? For, for the players that come to the Dominican Republic from the United States they learn that the, the, these people have passion, and you don't have to have much in order to be happy. So, uh, and, and, and uh, when I'm there, I'm with actually college coaches, so that's been my real exposure over the last nine years, is working with college coaches, because they run the camp, and I'm just one of the assistant coaches in the camp. So I've, I've had an opportunity to work with a number of coaches, most of the Big Ten coaches, and some of the ACC coaches, and some of the Pac-10 coaches, so uh, over the last nine years, I've gotten an opportunity to meet with a lot of college coaches, which I think is helpful in preparing players to, you know, to, to the, you know, play at the next level, the college level. Certainly has helped me understand and the psyche of what and what's important to bring to this team. If there was one thing that you wanted any player in the summer program to take away from the summer, even if they're just here for a few weeks, what would it be? Don't lose the passion for baseball. Take what you learn here and apply it, not only uh, whatever level of baseball that you play, but use the, what you learn here in your daily life. Uh, and, and because it, you know, what you learn here is everything that you're going to need to be successful in life. So from our talks with Coach Sharon, I hope you've gotten the message to stay positive and bring energy to everything you do in life every day. I'm Julia and you're watching Tom Sox TV.